Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're taking a look at a set, or I guess it is a set, I think it's a movie set, for the video that I'm going to make for the waiting screen for the sub-event. So, Convoy 1943, or whatever I'm going to call it, I think that's it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you the status of this and uh, answer some questions about it, because I know there are a few people asking questions. So here it is, and I've dropped some frames since last night because I redid the right side a little bit. So I may have to scale it back if you want me to release this on the workshop. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this thing. So we are back in the editor, and this is the main pin, the main sub pin that I'll be filming. So I'm not going to be filming the whole thing. It'll be just more of an exterior shot, and then we'll come in here and we'll shoot some nice camera moving around different spots and stuff like that. That's the idea. And it'll be kind of in a continuous loop while we're waiting to start the event. Why am I doing this? I have no idea. I just think it's cool to set up the atmosphere of the event. So I'm being theatrical, I guess. So I'm just going to show you around here. The frame rate has dropped quite a bit since I've been adding more clutter uh, since last night. I was doing pretty good. I had like 62 frames for a second across the board. But now I've dropped like 15, I guess, today. So if we look around here, this is based on the Call of Duty World of War map called Subpins, which was a Japanese uh sub pin and so i've kind of taken to modeling that one and just combining my own whatever i want to do like the actual sub pin in the map was like an open air which never made sense to me like why would a sub pin have glass on the top that was just weird but anyways this one doesn't have glass this one has grates which are from the Ilpot mod and also zuikwan's mod are being both used in here and again this is for a set a prop so I was never going to release it on the workshop, but people are asking about that. But So we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah. So anyways, we have the torpedo being loaded here. We have some boxes on the side. We have, of course, the submarine below me. Some torpedoes, barrels, and stuff like that. And minimal paint. Like, so far, minimal paint, because usually the atmosphere, when it comes to lighting these things, especially for, you know, if you want them to look kind of cool, you let the lights do the work, and then the colors are just to, like, accent different things you want to highlight. So, it's kind of how it works, at least for the uh, Cyberpunk one. So, I'm doing the same thing here. Um, down here is where we're going to start the video, I think. So, we'll probably start, like, with the record player moving. I don't know if I'm going to, like, actually add the record player moving. Seems like a lot of work <laughs> for a little video, but I may do that. So, anyways, um, I might edit that so it spins around. And then, you know, we'll kind of probably pull back here. And, uh, you know, or maybe we'll push in. Maybe this is where we push in. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't I don't have that part set up yet. I'm just thinking about this. Um, I have no pivots. The only thing I have are these hinges. And what you do is you come in here and you push these down. And they land on the submarine right there. Um, we have these hanging things here that are on ropes. The torpedoes on ropes. And the boxes over here are on ropes. So, yeah. And uh, let's see, what else? So as far as lighting goes, we have lighting that are in these rooms. So the windows right here, there's a light in there. There's some lighting in these uh, structures here. And of course, above, there's lighting shining down below that goes through this awesome grate that is a mod uh, onto the sub, makes a nice pattern. And then over on this side, we have the bottom grates, which are shining upwards. And uh, the, that's blue light coming upwards. So we have kind of more of a warmer light coming down and a blue light coming up and that just kind of adds the atmosphere and of course the secret sauce is the fog you need to use fog when you're shooting these so it looks really nice and then the rest of this is just fog and then this open area here you see is the next sub pin over and so i combine a more simplistic sub pin actually i kind of made it more complicated today so i might have to scale it back because the frame rate died but the idea was to like break it down so there's more sub pins on the side that i can add so anyways let's go ahead and uh come out here so there's also a few lights out here and i've added a light up there and a light up there i don't know if i like those lights they don't really hit right what i would like to do is pull the lights outward and then shine them at an angle um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. It might look funky if I do that, but we'll see. I'll, pro I'll probably have to experiment. I'm still kind of messing around with the lighting to get it right. Um, if we turn on the atmosphere from outside, it, you can just kind of see it kind of brings the model life. Oh, the submarine is actually a separate object that's roped on there. 
and uh, it's kind of cool because it just kind of bobs around with the waves so that just adds to it I might make static subs on the right just to like have them there but I don't know the frame rates dying fast like I said so we'll see all right, let's go back to the sub pin and uh, just do some like beauty shots and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So the sub pin is currently located here at North Harbor. I'm just gonna pop up here. Okay, so you're gonna see that I'm dropping frame rate quite a bit. If we look at the frame rate, I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, it's about 15 frames per second. It's really tiny, but uh, everything else is 62 frames per second, physics and all this stuff. But the main frame rate <laughs> is having a tough time. There's probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe over 20 lights 20 spotlights now so that's taking a toll but uh what we can do is we can go ahead and just look around and uh, i've experimented with blue lights and the uh warmer lights on the outside here just to see what it looks like and uh, i kind of like it it kind of offsets it a little bit but i don't know that it makes much sense i almost feel like the water would be reflecting the blue and so maybe the bottom edges here would have a blue light down there i don't know i might also like dump any lights that i put on the side there because i think it really caused a problem i think i was getting away with it pretty well and i went ahead this morning and added lights look i'm barely moving now i add lights down here look you can't even see them well yeah you can see those i guess those are good i don't know but like these lights don't really give me effect there's lights up there but they don't really give me a good effect. I don't know. Let, let's. We'll probably kill those because there are. Well, that's a bad idea. They are killing my frame rate. But the idea was to light this area in here. But now I don't like it. Maybe. Maybe just one spotlight, like right here, shining inwards on each of these would give it some highlights without killing the frame rate. I don't know. I'm just talking through this as I'm talking to you because. Uh, yeah, this is, this is killer. You know what? Let's go change that. I can't even move around anymore. All right, so we've loaded up the right side. This is where I was experimenting this morning with uh, lights. Here, let's turn that back on. It's easier to see with the grid. So let's go ahead and delete all of these lovely lights. Where are they at? They're in the sides over here, I think. We've got the light in here. Okay, let's just delete you. I can probably close up this area again. But for right now, we're just going to go through and delete. So is there only one there? I don't remember. So yeah, so the idea was that these are an extension of the sub pin, they're, but they're not going to have very much detail inside. And I started to put these here, but now I'm wondering if these are a problem or if it's just the lights. I think it's mostly, mainly, probably, likely, just the spotlights because we're talking, you know, quite a few spotlights. 20? Yeah, that's that's a lot. So I think that was about six spotlights. So six times four because there's four sub pins extra. We just got rid of 24 spotlights. <laughs> so that may help. Let's go ahead and save this because I don't think I'm going to be running those. Uh, we still have the ones in the front. We're going to leave them for right now. Just for right now. So we're in the mission editor. The left side is the docks, which isn't quite done yet. We have the main building. And then we have these little guys here. So we're going to go ahead and replace that with the version with less spotlights. Now we have them all set up here. Let's go ahead and spot it and see what kind of frame rate we get. Okay, so my frame rate is hurting so bad right now. So I have really broken something this morning by adding more details to those subsections, I think. So look at this, this is bad. What are we at now? Are we on less than uh, 15? No, we're still on 15. Okay, I don't know what I did, but let's go back and check out an earlier version, and I'll show you the different frame right here. All right, so I must have changed something more than I remember, because now, even the old version is struggling. Oh, no, these are... Wait, this is a new version. Oh, well, crap. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We'll figure it out in a second. Let's, let's delete the new versions. All right, so it looks like... I was testing a version here. Let's get rid of this one. And then let's just, I guess we'll keep these three. I don't have this version anymore because I moved on and tweaked it, but we'll just move these to the side and see if our frame rate is a bit better. Plus we still want to see the effect of the hallways. So let's try this, see if it works a bit better now. So we're getting 15 frames per second. Then we went to 17. 
let's see what happens now. All right, so now we're up to 18 frames per second, which is really weird. I was having really good luck, and uh, I thought maybe it was those new buildings, but we're only, like, gaining two frames? Seems odd. And I've had the same lighting. This was all working really well last night? Maybe it's because I'm running OBS? Could that be it? I don't know. Maybe because I'm recording? Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, this was running pretty darn good last night. Uh, and I did add, you know, a few more clutter items, but I think it was still running. So I'm a little confused on why the frame rate is so bad. What we can do, I guess, is restart Stormworks and see if that makes a difference. Sometimes it does. So uh, let's go ahead and try that. All right, so just for fun, we're going to go ahead and make a new game just to make sure we clear it out completely. Maybe something changed uh, between saves or something. Who knows? But uh, we're just going to go ahead and clear it out and see if that works. So let's let it load, and then I'll load the base again with just the main base, maybe. Maybe we'll just try just the main base. All right, so I went back into the mission editor, and now it's about to load just the main sub base and the little thing on the side see if that makes a big difference also it's worth noting all my graphics settings are maxed out except there's no fish on and no wildlife i think but uh we'll try that next i, I really don't understand okay here it comes in right now there it is all right let's go back over here all right there we go so we're about 30 frames per second now which is fine for what i'm using this for which is a movie set to film so Let's go ahead and load the editor up one more time. I'm jumping in the water so I don't get killed over here. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and move these kind of back in place roughly. We'll do it more precise when we're done with the sets completely, but for right now we're just going to do that. And let's spawn again. This adds, of course, what, uh, two times three, six spotlights. So we've just added spotlights, which should probably put us around, I'm going to say 25 frames per second. I'm just guessing. Uh, I think it's good enough to film what I need to. If I want to, I could probably remove some spotlights from the back uh, area of the sub pin just to bump up the frame rate. Or I could actually try right now. We'll just turn off all the, uh, the high settings and see if that improves the frame rate. Here it comes! So maybe we're back at 17 again? Maybe it is those side things. Let's check. Alright, so we're back at 17 frames per second. So apparently... I must have not been lighting those sides, and uh, I had some pretty good frame rate, but now it sucks again. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, but uh, let's see. I'm thinking, you know, some of these lights we could get away with removing. Uh, here, let's, let's light this dramatically, and then we'll see. No, actually, let's just light it as if we were filming it. So we're going to go ahead and put the fog on. I'm going to put the wind up a little bit. Max rain. Go ahead and go into the nighttime settings. And just bring it bring it down. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty dramatic. Okay, now let's go into the settings and turn all of our nice graphic settings down. Alright, let's turn off anti-aliasing. Let's see. Bloom. I want the bloom. At least a bloom. Shadows, let's kill those. The lighting, volume, quality, and the SSAO. We want all that stuff. Trees are high, monitors, we don't really care. Let's do that. Let's see what kind of frame rate this gives us. Okay? And let's also see what it looks like. Alright. So, we turned off a lot of the settings, a lot of the high settings. It doesn't look too bad still. may actually brighten up the scene a bit more without having to add lights because I'm turning all of the shadows off. But, uh, yeah, not bad. All right, what's the frame rate? So it's 20 frames per second. We gain, like, what, three frames because of turning off the max settings? Isn't that weird? You would think there was a big jump with all the, you know, the lighting and all that stuff and the shadows turned off. But really, not a big difference. It's just these spotlights are hurting. Uh, see, so let's light in there. Interesting, huh? And we know if we get rid of the uh, the lights that are 
down in here, where that down over there. Those lights, those side lights. If we get rid of those, we'll get back up to like 30 frames per second real quick. Hmm. So these are things I'm thinking about. Whoa, I'm gonna fall in the water. Am I? Yes, I am. So, anyways, these are things that I'm thinking about as I'm making this. Like, what? Oh, let's push this over. Uh, what do I need to make a good video, but not necessarily uh, something you want to download and play with? So that's the idea. So if we come over here and knock this down. Knock it down. Look how slow that is. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and sh I'll show you kind of what I'm going to do. We'll have the music playing and we'll just kind of pull back like this. And uh, we'll do a shot like that. I'll just come back here and slowly pan the camera across here. But uh, I feel like it doesn't look like... Let's turn on the settings again. I'm not losing that much frame rate. So let's go ahead and turn everything back up again. Uh, FSA. Ultra. Yeah, Ultra already. Lighting. Ultra. SSL. Ultra. And everything else is fine. Alright, save that. Yeah, that does look better, doesn't it? It brings in the uh, atmosphere. You can see the lights here have an effect a little bit. I don't know if you can see that with the YouTube compression, but there's a little bit of God rays right here. So, we'll do this. Come out here. What's another cool shot we have? We have kind of like up here. We have a shot. And then, you know, we can do this shot. Uh, and all of this will just be a video that's running with some old-time German music. And we're just waiting for the event to start. And this is just going to kind of put us in the mood to... Uh, to enjoy that. Where's a good shot here? Yeah, like that. Hmm. So, oops. Black. But, uh, it looks like, you know, if I really want to, I could probably get away with doing two different versions. Maybe one. Oh, we don't have the rain moving. Uh, one where I do an outside shot with, like, everything really lit nicely out here. And that way I can get the nice front going with the spotlights kind of lighting up where exactly I want to do it. So, you know, we'll pan across this and you'll hear the music in the background because it's way inside the tunnel over there. And we'll just see the sub bass. And then, of course, we can ditch all of these versions with a lot of lights. Come back in here. And slowly maybe come through here. I don't know if we I don't know if I like that shot. I kinda like the angles better. So you know, like a corner shot here. Come back in here. Look, I'd like kinda to see down these hallways if we have them. Now see it's not really adding. You can see the hallways in the background. But I don't think they necessarily need to have spotlights at all to uh, show up. So we can get away with something like that, I think. I don't know yet. And then these spotlights back here. I've got one. Oh, this is one shining this way. I wonder how much of an impact that's even making on the scene. So what I probably am going to have to do is go back and disable a lot of these lights. Like, probably like all of them. <laughs> And then slowly add my light. We know that we want a light here because this is like, you know, our sub pin one. We have our record player playing and we want our music, you know, to be coming from that thing. And that's our first shot. Um, up here, we want some lighting, but uh, I don't know if I can get away with the other lights. Well, I guess because I'm not shooting out here, we don't care if you can see lights, you know, from 500 miles those other types of lights, but uh, maybe we can ditch the spotlights. Actually, there's two spotlights in here. Look, there's one there and one there. That's a lot of lights. So I think I just need to see like what I can get away with. Uh, let me know if you're interested in watching a video about relighting this because I can probably, uh, you know, 
film that with you if this is something you enjoy. I don't know. Um, I just really wanted to show you the set today to show you like what the status of it is. I know some of you want it on the workshop, but it's using a lot of the modded blocks, like all these rails, these windows, uh, these rails, all of these boxes, these amazing boxes. The of course the record player or the panograph, photograph. What's that? What is this called? Phonograph. I don't know. I think it's phonograph. And then we have like these barrels over here, and of course this wonderful grate, which I love. I love the grate. So you know, if I uploaded this and you didn't have the mod, all of this junk would disappear. All of these like these steel girders here. I don't know if you can see these. And then. Oh, we have these awesome little knobs, or whatever you call them, valves, yeah, those, and whatever this cool thing is. But uh, yeah, so if I uploaded it, you would not see all of this stuff, it would just disappear unless you had the mods. So we'll talk about that later, uh, also I just really want to get this optimized to be able to film it with an okay frame rate, and then I can worry about, you know, if you want me to upload it. But anyways! Go ahead and let me know if you would like to see me relight this from scratch. And, uh, yeah, I'll do that video tomorrow if you want. Just let me know. Alright. That's it, I guess, for now. Here, here's a cool shot to end on.